When Tesla released a dancing update for the Optimus Gen 3 robot instead of a more traditional technical upgrade, fans were both excited and intrigued. But the excitement quickly gave way to debate. Two main questions emerged. First, why Tesla bought Gen 3 dancing not others? And second, shouldn't a robot be built to work and provide value, not just perform for entertainment? The truth is, most people aren't worried that Optimus doesn't know how to fold laundry yet. They're worried that one day, it actually will. Because the moment a robot becomes useful enough to step into our homes, our minds start to spin. What does this mean for my job? My privacy? My identity? And if a robot can teach itself to perform ballet without human guidance, what else might it be capable of learning? Could it develop empathy, persuasion, autonomy? So the question isn't just about what Optimus will do next, it's about where we go from here. Right now, Optimus is working inside Tesla's factories. It can pick up objects, maintain its balance, and recharge on its own. It can walk, learn, and recover from mistakes. Soon it could be cleaning homes, caring for the elderly, and handling tasks we never thought could be automated. But more than that, it could begin to challenge our very sense of human uniqueness. Elon Musk has said, this isn't even its final form, and we believe him. That's why the real question people are asking isn't about the robot, it's about us. What kind of humans will we become in a world where robots aren't just tools, but companions, creators, maybe even citizens? Meanwhile, as people watched the video of Tesla Optimus dancing, many laughed, some criticized. We don't want a robot that can dance, we want a robot that can work. But maybe, just maybe, we should take a moment to pause. Because the real reason behind Tesla Bot Gen 3's dancing isn't just performance, it's the process behind it. Optimus didn't learn to move by falling thousands of times in the real world. It was learned in simulation, over and over, thousands of repetitions executed in milliseconds. So by the time it arrives in front of you, it's already functioning at its best. What's happening with Optimus isn't all that different from how human babies learn, through trial and error by recognizing patterns and adjusting. But in simulation, time compresses. One hour of physical practice can be replaced with 10,000 hours of simulated feedback. The bot you're seeing isn't being remote controlled. It's not animated with CGI. And it's not simply following a set of pre-programmed instructions. What you're watching is real-time behavior. According to Tesla's lead engineer, Optimus is performing complex full-body movements completely autonomously, using the same body it learned to control through simulation. This is what makes it remarkable. Optimus isn't just mimicking motion. It understands it. It has learned rhythm, balance, and the physics of its own limbs, just like a human would. Through thousands of iterations in simulation, it has gained the ability to move with grace and coordination, all without a single hard fall in the physical world. But that brings up an important question. How can we be sure these Optimus' performances are fully real and not CGI? That's exactly why Tesla goes to great lengths to ensure the footage is authentic and unedited. Because what Optimus is doing represents a true leap forward in robotics, not a trick of the camera. We're used to seeing machines jerk, stumble, or require external support. In contrast, Optimus looks like it truly belongs in our space. Its presence makes us feel its reality and earns our absolute trust, something no explanation could easily convince us of. When Optimus twists, bends, and lifts its leg with purpose, it's thanks to a breakthrough in real-time motion processing combined with a neural signal processing architecture. The motion system of Optimus Gen 3 uses an 8-layer neural network with a 4D spatial inertia prediction mechanism, enabling it to process 2,774 teraflops through an integrated Adreno 750 GPU. This technology allows the robot to calculate force vectors for 28 muscle joints in just 0.4 milliseconds, 12 times faster than the Gen 2 version. In the ballet video released on May 16th, Optimus performs a sequence of 14 complex spins without any safety harness. 
demonstrating the precision of its dynamic balance algorithms. According to internal documents from Tesla Bot Division, Optimus is trained within a multidimensional quantum simulation environment or that allows it to run 84,000 motion scenarios in parallel. A zero-shot transfer technique is applied to seamlessly transfer skills from the virtual world to the real one without any fine-tuning, reducing training time by 97% compared to traditional methods. Testing conducted by the MIT Robotics Lab in April 2025 showed that Optimus can adapt to 92% of terrain variations during its performance. Additionally, the Gen 3 processor integrates one Cortex-X4 core and seven auxiliary cores, enabling Optimus to flexibly allocate resources among three tasks. Image processing at 198.1 frames per second, environment recognition at 174.5 objects per second, and muscle control at 26.7 reflexes per second. Optimus's synchronized dance performance alongside a virtual reality symphony orchestra not only showcases its multitasking capabilities, but also creates an emotional connection with the audience, a key factor in Tesla AI Fund's $2.5 billion crowdfunding campaign. The latest reliable data shows Optimus's dance video garnered 48 million interactions within 72 hours, triple the engagement of videos highlighting technical features. A Pew Research survey found that 62% of Americans consider artistic performances a more important measure of AI capability than raw data processing speed. This effect helped Tesla's stock jump 3.2% immediately after the video's release, despite a first-quarter earnings report that fell short of expectations. Let's be clear, this isn't the very first time we've seen Optimus hit the dance floor. The story actually begins back in 2021, when Elon Musk first introduced the idea of a humanoid robot. But instead of showing a functioning machine, Tesla showcased a performer, dressed in a robot costume, dancing on stage. It was more of a playful teaser than a serious demonstration, and many found it amusing rather than impressive. Setting that aside, the first genuine display of Optimus dancing came at the end of 2023 with the Optimus Gen 2 video. Then, last October during the CyberCab launch, a group of at least 43 Optimus units appeared, with five performing a perfectly synchronized dance routine, live. This was a landmark moment. People witnessed in real time how these robots could move fluidly and with coordination in the physical world. What makes this achievement particularly notable is how Tesla managed to train these complex movements. Instead of risking time and resources on physical trials, they used virtual simulations. Optimus rehearsed its motions thousands of times in a fraction of the time it would take in reality. This approach represents a major technological leap, bridging the gap between digital practice and real-world execution, a notoriously difficult challenge in robotics. The ability of a bipedal robot to carry out intricate sequences without needing manual tuning after simulation is strong proof of Tesla's progress toward practical deployment at scale. To get Optimus to smoothly transition from ballet moves to shuffle dancing, Tesla engineers applied a method called domain randomization. This involves varying simulation conditions, like slipperiness, friction, and load, randomly, so the robot learns to handle diverse and unpredictable environments. This ensures that skills gained in simulation remain reliable once transferred to real robots. You might dismiss this as just a flashy stunt, but that would miss the point entirely. The improvements made through these dance routines directly enhance Optimus's functional abilities. For example, better balance and a more natural gait mean the robot can walk more steadily over different surfaces, a crucial factor for everyday use. After all, Nobody wants a robot that stumbles or walks awkwardly. Beyond the spectacle, the dance showcases Optimus's whole body flexibility. It can bend, crouch, and rotate its shoulders, all essential movements for future tasks Tesla envisions, like household chores and caregiving. During development, Tesla's lead engineer Milan Kovacs noted that the team identified hardware areas needing improvement, including joint strength, motor endurance, and managing heat from prolonged activity. 
This is vital because, much like humans tire from dancing, Optimus needs to manage its energy efficiently. Although it doesn't feel fatigue, preserving battery life and preventing overheating are critical for sustained operation. In essence, the latest dance demo is far more than entertainment. It's a practical showcase of Optimus's evolving capabilities, designed to highlight progress toward a robot that can reliably and effectively assist in everyday life. What does this design mean for the upcoming Tesla Bot Gen 3 release? In some Tesla's recent update videos, we see Optimus tackling everyday chores like watering plants, carrying packages, cleaning kitchens, and unloading items from a car. Tesla positions Optimus not just as a machine, but as a helpful companion designed to safely assist with a range of household duties, from looking after children to supporting seniors. What's particularly striking is Optimus's ability to engage in natural conversation, providing companionship and answering questions, which hints at its deeper integration into daily life beyond simple task execution. While the variety of tasks Optimus can perform is impressive, most people's biggest concern centers on safety. How can the robot maintain hygiene, for example? Could Optimus disinfect its hands after handling trash before preparing food, as humans do? Though we're not engineers at Tesla Bot, some insights have been shared about the hands themselves, which are considered among the most advanced robot hands in existence. Unlike human hands, which have 27 degrees of freedom, Optimus's hands have 22. But it's the design approach that truly sets them apart. Elon Musk explained that these hands use tendon-like mechanisms, similar to how human hands work, with fewer parts vulnerable to water damage. The materials used are easy to clean and possibly have antibacterial properties. Given this, it's reasonable to expect that Tesla will find a way to ensure Optimus can stay clean and safe during household tasks. Notably, the hands represent half of the robot's engineering effort, underscoring their importance. Another question is about usability. Would you have to program every action manually? That would defeat the purpose of having a humanoid robot, making it tedious and impractical. Fortunately, Tesla's AI allows Optimus to learn new tasks by example rather than explicit programming. Elon Musk mentioned that simply showing the robot a video of a task is enough for it to understand and replicate the action. This ability drastically reduces the need for extensive data training and makes the robot adaptable in real time. What sets Optimus apart further is its talent for interpreting human body language. The robot can recognize gestures, like pointing or signaling, making communication easier, especially for people who might struggle with speech. This nonverbal understanding helps optimize interactions, offering a more intuitive user experience. Recent advances in AI have unlocked remarkable progress in robotics, especially humanoid forms. While AI like ChatGPT can provide instructions, it cannot perform physical tasks. This is where robots like Optimus step in, bridging AI with the real world. Elon highlights that Tesla's edge over other humanoid robots lies in its brain, the advanced AI that runs the robot. Tesla's expertise in building AI systems that control self-driving cars, a form of wheeled robot, has been repurposed into creating a robot that walks and operates in human environments. Integrating full autonomy, neural networks, and user-friendly design, Optimus aims to navigate human spaces while taking over repetitive or hazardous chores. Tesla's collaboration with tech giants like Microsoft, NVIDIA, and Google is key to pushing AI capabilities forward. NVIDIA's chips power Tesla's supercomputers, fueling this advanced AI brain, and Elon Musk confidently asserts that Tesla's robot AI outperforms competitors. For those eager to bring Optimus home, mass production is slated for 2026, with prices estimated between $20,000 and $30,000 depending on the model. Though initially pricey, Musk expects costs to drop over time, making this technology more accessible and affordable for everyday users in the future. What crazy claims has Elon Musk made about the release date of the Tesla Bot Gen 3? Elon Musk 
has made some bold predictions, stating that by 2040, there will likely be more humanoid robots than people. He envisions every country having at least one or multiple AIs, with robots becoming far more common than humans. This isn't the first time Musk has made such ambitious claims. He's also suggested that everyone in the world will want to own at least one Optimus robot, potentially bringing the robot-to-human ratio close to one-to-one. -to -one. However, since Optimus hasn't hit the market yet, it's hard to gauge actual demand or how many people will want to buy these robots. Musk has consistently expressed confidence that these humanoid robots will be sold at a very attractive price point, around $20,000 to $30,000, roughly half the cost of a Tesla EV. At that price, he believes anyone could afford a versatile assistant capable of handling a variety of tasks. He's also optimistic that robots will soon become an essential part of daily life and could even replace humans in many fields. Musk further stated that AI will soon be able to do everything a human can within the next year or two, and by 2028, AI will have the combined capabilities of the entire human population of 8 billion people. This paints a future where humans might live in a sort of paradise, no longer needing to lift a finger because robots and machines handle all the work. People would just eat, relax, and enjoy life, while every elderly person or child could have their own personal robot caregiver. Looking at what Optimus can do now, it's clear it will still take a few years before the robot becomes fully useful. Tesla only unveiled the first prototype in 2022, so the project is still in its early stages. Ultimately, Optimus aims to take on a wide range of tasks to support humans. But when it comes to the idea of large numbers of Optimus robots worldwide, let's be honest, that's still a distant dream. We can't be certain Tesla will pull it off. Personally, I'm a bit skeptical. Many people still fear or even distrust humanoid robots, haunted by sci-fi images of Terminators attacking humans. Plus, not everyone can afford an Optimus even at $20,000. So, while Elon Musk's vision is compelling, it still sounds a bit unrealistic for now. That said, there's reason to believe demand for Optimus will be huge, especially from companies ordering in bulk like Amazon, Walmart, or PepsiCo. Elon Musk tweeted that Tesla will produce a limited number of robots for internal use next year, and hopes to begin mass production for other companies by 2026. Tesla currently employs about 100,000 workers globally, and replacing even a small portion with Optimus robots could mean massive cost savings. So what do you think? Are you ready to live alongside machines that move like us, learn like us, and maybe someday think like us? Let us know in the comments. And if you've made it this far, congratulations. You're already part of the future. That's all we want to share in today's episode. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to Tesla Car World and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.